This is a drama of the West, West Brooklyn, I believe. Here, a peaceful picnic in the country. A little bird was trilling in the dell. <laughs> anyway, Sheriff Dan feels like doing a little trilling himself. His big heartbeat is Cafeteria Kate. She's a city gal visiting here until her hair returns to its natural color. Enter Horse Pistol Pete, known around Jerkwater jails as Peter Bilgewater. He's nuts about Kate, too. The sheriff is warming up to his work when they're discovered by Pete. Boy, did he take it big. Pete thinks Kate is falling for the sheriff. He must be a direct descendant of St. Vitus. Now Peter remembers his school of acting and strikes pose B. Whereupon the sheriff gets himself hence. Kate tells him the sheriff proposed to her and they go into pose D. Now he doubts her. Watch his face register doubt. Boy, is he doubting. But Kate knows her stuff. The picnic's over and Grandpa's all worn out from brushing ants off the hard-boiled eggs. Too bad, but Kate's won him. A man with the heart of a lion and the brain of a mouse. What the, hey, Elmer, you don't belong in this drama. Go away. Five years later, Peter has been a bad boy. He's been out ringing doorbells and dumping over garbage cans. Katie and Pete have been married only five years, but to them it feels like 40, 50, 60. Who'll make it 75? Gee, I'm all confused. Anyway, Pete's fed up. He claims she puts too much starch in his shirts and collars. This, he asserts, makes him crackle when he walks. Ah, oh, yes, Kate is very sorry that she made him crackle, but it's too late. Help! Anyway, Sheriff Dan is on the job. Dan is a clever man, very clever. I wouldn't be surprised if he could lay an egg. The sheriff calls Pete an assortment of dirty names, and the debate is on. I'll perforate your appendix, yells Pete, and in a terrible struggle, the sheriff gets the gun. What a fight that boy put up. Next morning, Kate gets ready to tear a trout, when suddenly, what's this? It's a note from Pete saying he'll be back later, 20 or 30 years later. He's deserted, meh, mutters Kate, and Kate could mutter with the best of them. Our heroine struggles with her emotions, and her emotions win. Anyway, in those days, she'd have won an Academy Award had there been an Academy, had there been an award. Boy, is he nervous. Well, what's this? Egad, another hold up by the masked bandit. Hmm, they didn't even see each other. Eh, uh -uh, Katie, mustn't open other people's mail. The masked bandit. It couldn't by any chance be Peter, could it? Why, sure. Meantime, the sheriff, disguised in a cap, decides to overtake Pete aboard the latest thing in flying machine. Come on, get going. Wonderful, marvelous. Ah, oh, but Sheriff Dan is not a man to be daunted. Here he's charted the finest auto gyro of the day. Of course, it looks a bit corny now, but 40 years ago, well, it looked just as corny. Anyhow, let's go, boys. We must catch Pete. Hurry. Hey, what's wrong? Come on, get going. Give it the gun. Oh, flubbed up. Finally, a handsome, derby-headed son of toil prepares a locomotive for the pursuit of Pete. After all, flying machines never will amount to anything. The hunt is on. Sheriff Dan will get his man, unless he runs out of coal. Come on, Egg, your goose is quick as seed. Careful, Dan. Look out! But Dan wears a bulletproof vest, a vest marked by battle stains, soup stains, gravy stains. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> Dan, before I die, tell me, how do you avoid pink toothbrush? <laughs> Do you smell ham burning? Kate, here's the news. 
Hey, that's no place to faint. Get away from there. The train's coming. Hurry. See, and it's a coming fast, gal. Kate, go and faint somewhere else, will you? No wonder she's got housemaid's knees. Look at that dame. Get up, you silly. Go away. Hey, look out. Atta boy, sheriff, old boy, old boy, old boy. Here's your big moment. Stay with it. Go away. Fall down, will you? This suspense is killing me. What's happening to Kate? Ah, at last. Saved. Saved. Saved from the very jaws of a horrible fate. Here is true love. What a man. What a lover. What a hero. And what a picture. Hey, Elmer. Get him. Goodbye.